So I have to tighten up the bolts on the bush hog again. Came loose and that motor is dancing around. So this time I got smart and I, I chained it the bush hog to my, uh, well, that's a root ray. Well, my front loader basically. And, uh, chained it to this side so that as I backed and lifted, it came up. And now I've got it propped up against the root ray. Work on it and remove the blades and blade and everything. I won't remove the blades from the way, but I remove all that and I'll tighten them up again and get it working like a dream again. I have to get better at this stuff. I'm just to show you, I attached my chains <coughs> these posts here to flip it up like this. And I'll move forward. Push it back over, the chains will catch it, and it leads it on down. It'll work great. Beautiful. Yeah. So you can see I removed the uh, blade plate, blades, and uh, I'm set up over here to go ahead and tighten my thing. But before I do, this time I'm going to apply some Loctite, some thread locker blue. Um, Good. Clean them up a little bit first, and I'll be applying them to the other side here, the thread lock, one at a time. Alright, as uh, you may have seen in another video, I did this once before. I'll show you how I use an adjustable wrench, and I call it uh, on this bolt here, and it'll catch on the motor and stay put when I tighten the other side. <laughs> You'll see this monkey wrench come up. Guys, it's I applied the lock tight now. I'm going to press the video on the line. Do I see the extension? Tighten up really good now. Nice. That's good. We'll be all set. I'll finish those up.
Awesome, I just nudged it with the wind. Me too. Too bad, uh, it's not enough. That's what I really needed right there. Look how close it is. See if I can slide a smaller pin in there just to uh, give it some support. Darn, I got it. Look at this. Straight through. Right there. And also, I know it's not quite all the way in on this side, but boy, if I can get a pin in there. Uh, I thought I'd explain a little bit about what I did and how it went. Uh, I, Mahindra, I'm happy to say, gives you this front end loader post that I block because this is dirt and otherwise it pushes right into the ground so go on concrete or a firm good surface block it anyway is my suggestion it'll clear up your concrete probably so I did it out here and I blocked it I wrestled with it a bit I'll be honest with you kind of maybe regretted the decisions I made at first but it, it all worked out and uh, so I blocked it. So this this just pins in and out of here. I'll take it out and uh, shoot a little more. Oh, I should explain what this does. When you drop the front end loader down, it creates a force that puts this at a much more reasonable angle to get attached. Um, you still have to work it with the tractor. And you learn to be delicate and off with those hydraulic controls and the clutch. But, uh, so I'm going to take this out now. You can see it slides right in and out of this slot. Powder pins in there after I clean it off a little bit. So please be advised, I will not be operating or attaching anything to this front end loader with this pin in there. It's just temporary, but as you can see, it just stabilizes the arm, so it actually works just fine. And I can use the tractor, do all the bush hogging that I want anyway, so keep up with some joy. to say I got this done today. I do have, still have a little drain situation worked out, but uh, this thing looks good. Looks pretty, so that's the first one. Hey, I moved the bathroom vanity outside to do the cuts half inch off of either side of that stone top. Got it wrapped up in plastic. Well, she's Taped off with a half inch measurement. The the tape. Inside, brand new diamond blade. The circus the saw. That's running wild. Butterflies, sepals, symbol memes. And fairy tales. That's all she really thinks about. Running with the wind. When I
happy with the way my cuts are coming out. I mean, my, my bush dog just started making noise after cutting up some pretty serious stuff here, you know, I've been pretty rough on it, but, you know, I'm really hoping to be able to get in there a little bit, boy, that'd be great. You know, and it's the backside of the barn anyway. I think it looks pretty good. Right. 